we're going to do some songs together. We're going to sing a lot of God's word. And I know that you're, uh, there's a good chance you're in your living room or your kitchen uh, or a, a cubicle. Um, wherever you're at, um, digitally, I guess you're not somewhere digitally. That would be kind of strange. But wherever you're at physically and wherever you're receiving this digitally, let me just encourage you, man. I know that this can be awkward. Um, uh, uh, just a few weeks ago, my family was um, just partaking in our church service in our living room. And I have four daughters um, and I have five ladies. This is my women's ministry. So my wife and we have four daughters. And man, there was just the whole gamut was covered as far as like my wife was basically, man, she was like at like a full on conference. I mean, she just doesn't care. She was going for it. And then we have our thinker and she was just observing. And then we have one over kind of doing Legos. And then we have like a timer going off in the kitchen right in the middle of it. So I'm going in there and I'm, I'm just under my breath. I'm just going, magnify the Lord with me. He is God. He is God. He's in control. And so this doesn't have to look any certain way for you. Um, as long as your heart in these next few moments would just go after the Lord. And so that could just be you whispering to him or talking to him or praying through these scriptures, or you could stand, lift your hands and just go, Lord, I love you. You are worthy of my praise. And we're, um, we're going to do something um, in uh, Colossians 3.16, it talks about what we're going to do. Um, it says, let the word of Christ dwell richly in you as you teach and admonish one another in all wisdom through singing songs, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratefulness to God in your heart. And um, believe me, um, as my little girls were just singing these songs in all in their own ways, I, I was taught and admonished and I felt the Lord's word dwell richly in me. Like I believed in who he was more after that than I did before that. And that's our hope for this time. And so God, I pray that as we lift you up, as we make your name just high, lift it high where it is, where it always has been. I pray that you would let the word of Christ dwell richly in us that we would see you as you are, glorious, magnificent, worthy of praise, worthy of our lives, worthy of awkward moments, worthy of walking across the street, worthy of walking across the hall to boast in your name, to sing your praise. So come now as we sing. And we ask in, in not any name, but the name above all names, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. For I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from every fear. Those who look on me. never be ashamed they'll never be ashamed this poor man cried this poor man cried and the Lord heard me and saved me from my Surrounds his saints, he will deliver them. Thank God, he will deliver them. All right, y'all, magnify, magnify.
Your mercy never fails me. Oh, all my days I've been held in Your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay. those of us who have put our faith in Jesus Christ and we are now his kids, there is not a moment that his goodness and his mercy won't be a banner over our life. And that is so confusing sometimes when cancer hits. It's 
so confusing when our job goes away. But we can cling to that. He is good. He has cleansed you from your sin with his blood. And his goodness and mercy, man, is like a like a hound of heaven running after you today. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I rubbish compared to the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord we love you we love you we bless your name